Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. I'm hoping to learn something from my next guest. As a father of a girl who's about to turn 13, I think they can shed some light on being a good dad to a teenager. At least I certainly hope so. The film is Hot Seat. I am very happy to have Anna Kerrigan here and Byron Kuros. Welcome. Thank you Thank for you. having us. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's a coming of age film. Yeah. It is about being a teenager. Clearly, as a dad, I have no clue at all, <laughs> apparently. That's right, yeah. Um, so the film Hot Seed is actually based on a party that I went to in high school. I went right. to an all-girls school mm -hmm. um, in Los Angeles, and one girl for her 18th birthday decided to hire a male stripper. Wow. So I was underage at the time. We literally walked to her house in our uniforms, and this short is sort of loosely based on that experience. Um, and it sort of explores the dynamics of teenage girls, and Byron plays Johnny Cash, who's the male stripper. And please don't stand, because I understand that you might, uh, that there may be Breakaway uh, pants. revealing no. pants. As I've been told, <laughs> <laughs> these are these are very secured. They're you not going to come yeah. off the screen. He can't yeah. help himself to strip in public. And, That's right. Uh, yeah. I, you're not planning to do this at Sundance anywhere, right? No, no okay. not even close. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know. It depends. Well, yeah. or the price is right. right. It certainly might get some good PR behind the film, but I don't think you'll need it because you are already here for so many different things, Anna. The, I'm amazed. I, I look at what you've done uh, previously, which has been featured on Hulu and uh, your, some of your other web series. Uh, but you have another one that's going to premiere here, yes. The Chances. Yeah, that's correct. Wow. Um, so, which is really exciting. It's mm. This is my first time at Sundance ever, and um, and I have two things. So wow. uh, I wrote and directed Hot Seat, and The Chances is produced by Super Deluxe, and it's created by and stars two actors who are deaf, Shoshana Stern wow. and Josh Feldman. Um, so that was a really interesting, amazing experience as someone who knows no ASL to actually right. sort of navigate that. You're yeah. picking all the, the all the hard topics right. for sure. <laughs> a little bit of sign language and right. uh, making and a stripping. I, yeah, you know, there's uh, kind of a dichotomy there that I'm not quite sure I understand, but it's interesting nonetheless. The next project's right. bringing them together. Right, exactly, <laughs> right. exactly. We're working on Bi Byron's ASL, ASL. strippers. Right. Yeah, right. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Talk to me about uh, making this film. There had to be some very uncomfortable moments for you. Uh, to say the least, I mean, you know, it all started in the auditioning process where I, I uh, you had, we had to strip. Well, would that be right? Yeah. Uh, and it's like we need to see. I mean, strip. some some people went fully right. for it. We sort of left it up to the actors to decide. We said, oh, we're gonna put some music on <laughs> and just sort of improvise some dancing so we could yeah. see that they. I mean, could the move. first thing that she asked, obviously, she wants to know if if, if I could move, right? And right. So, my intention was never to take it to that realm, was just to simply really, you know, show that I could, I'm, I'm, yes, I'm an actor, but I also have a background in dance. So I was able to bring both of us together. Um, but I think I wanted to, you know, I never thought that I would go, I mean, I've heard some of the stories that happened in that audition room, and yeah. I certainly didn't take it to that realm, but, uh, but Someone there was some- Someone ripped their shirt off on uh -huh. my reader. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that. But Sorry. there was definitely some <laughs> funny moments that happened in it, and I enjoyed it, and, uh, uh, you know, just was fully in it and, and certainly knew what, you know, the description called for. And yeah. so I was prepared to do that if needed. Yeah, How there was, he leaned up, sorry to interrupt, no, but no. Um, while <coughs> Byron was doing the dance, we were in this really, really small audition room and all, he leaned against the light switch and the lights went out. And so it was, and, yeah. Yeah. it was one of those moments that you think would be planned, but it was completely yeah, uh, it spontaneous. Was and you, all you hear is my hand, like literally trying to hit the wall, trying to, find the switch back uh, and it was just it was a brilliant moment that I think just happened you know spontaneously yeah, it was very, funny. very what, Johnny Cash if you will actually. very Johnny Cash what are we gonna get from this film as far as viewers what uh, what is the message well I think you know I wanted to make a film that's really sort of encapsulated my experience in an all-girls school yeah. and you know we're all these girls, we had no experience, we really wanted experience, but we were also scared yeah. to go and connect with guys on our own. So mm -hmm. we hired a man to come strip for us, you know? So I wow. think what's cool about the film is, you know, I don't want to give anything away, but it reaches points that feel really uncomfortable and inappropriate, and you know the girls sort of control those moments and decide: is this going to be a triumphant, exciting moment, or is this going to be a freaky moment? You know, wow. and it's really about their relationships and girl power, if you will. Well, <laughs> I, I think you said inappropriate. Life is that in so yeah. many ways. 
so inappropriate. Wow. Now we have a tiny, <laughs> tiny clip because, of course, we uh, uh, there was very little that we could show right. on television. Right. Right. So let's take a look at it. Okay. I have to. This begs the question wow. that I've got to ask you. In it's the very, very top of the film. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But in general, I, I have to ask this: Can you have a, a? Because people talk about their past a lot, and it sure. affects them in many ways. Can you have a better past? Can you change it? You, you went back and filmed it. Oh, interesting. Right? Right. Did it change it at all for you? Hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, I do think that having to, I mean, I think that you're drawn to moments in your life that you want to sort of figure out or whatever. It made right. me feel good about my time there. Yeah. Different than before? Um, I think that I was, I'm better able to articulate now why moments like that were so fun and yeah. And, you and, know, it and it's yeah, <coughs> what it meant. Wow, this is this is a, uh, an interesting, uh, an interesting story for sure. The hot seat, when, or I should say, hot seat. When will we see it? Um, okay, I'm gonna read the yeah, dates because no, I don't have the memorized. By all means, We're please do. We're premiering tonight okay. at the Redstone Theater at 9:30 p.m. And then tomorrow, the 21st, we're at the Tower Theater in Salt Lake City at Oh, six. it's a fun spot. Okay. Mm. I'm excited Yeah, to you're going to like that one. Cool. Um, and then Tuesday, the 24th, at noon, we're at the Temple Theater. Um, and I'll be at those first three, and uh, you'll I be will, there as well. As well. The as Temple well. Theater seems like the best place to show this. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I know nothing. I'm just like totally a Is it like a burlesque house? Is that a, yeah. um, and then on the 28th, we have our final screening at Holiday Village Cinema 2. Right here beneath us. Yeah, yeah, that's excellent. Cool. Uh, and of course, I've got to ask you when we can see uh, the chances as well. The chances. Um, the first screening is on. Oh my gosh, I didn't bring them that's with okay. me. But it is. I think it's on two, Monday at noon. Sorry. Okay. No, we'll yeah. find out for sure. But yeah. uh, I, I'm excited for you. You've got so many things, so many irons in the fire. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, th this project's great. And you know, one of the big reasons why I was drawn to it was just her conviction to what she wanted to speak about, you know, and it really rung in with me and what and, and sort of these insecurities that I had, not only that that I brought in, but that all the you know, essentially the the real cast had and So your past and future has changed as well. Absolutely. This. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. That's really terrific. Thank you guys so very much for Thank being you here. So much. It's part of the seri of the uh, program three of, sh of Sundance Shorts. You want to make sure you get a chance to see it at the times we mentioned and uh, check your catalog if, uh, if you have any questions. But of course, I believe tickets are still available for some of the Sundance Shorts. They are one of my favorite uh, favorites to see, and this looks to be one of the best. We've got much more to come here on the Mountain Morning Show right after this.